Uh, Jesus. My girlfriend and I have been dating for nearly three years now, and it... It's really difficult to improvise. My girlfriend and I have been dating for nearly three years now, Relationships can be hard at the best of times, but there's a certain difficulty added when you are apart for a long period of time, and at uni that is a very real problem that a lot of young couples face. I face it myself, and at the moment I'm 150 miles away from my girlfriend. We decided the best time to find out how things were going would be to document her coming down to see me this weekend. Friday came and I headed down to the coach station to meet her. I felt very anxious about seeing her for the first time in a, over a month. It was good to see her. A friend mentioned me to him um, and he came to see me in a show at my secondary school. He asked about me and then we exchanged phone numbers and things sort of kicked off from there. It was great. <laughs> it's hard to not get upset because you, I'm used to him being there really like, like every day and then he's not. Uh, my plans for next year are to come down here and be at university with him because it makes sense and I don't want to travel anymore. I don't want to spend like a month of the only sort of thing that's keeping me, like that I'm looking forward to is coming back down here. It's hard in a long distance relationship. It takes a lot of trust in the other person. Yeah. You okay? No. <laughs> Obviously my story is only one of many. We spoke to Tom who had recently started a long distance relationship with a girl from Aberdeen. Hello mate, you alright? How's it going? Alright, so it was on Facebook about three years ago and she popped up on people that I may know on Facebook and um, just thought she was like really attractive and stuff. Didn't know she lived in Scotland um, but I just started talking to her and um, just got better and better really until about a year ago we started talking like every day and then your feelings just sit stronger and all of that and it was like the best girl I've ever met. So we decided like let's meet each other and that was about a month ago. It was like meeting your best friend, it was just straight off, just yeah, fantastic really. I do feel there is stigma especially at university, people kind of don't take it seriously it's like when you're in such a serious relationship long distance and they're sort of, it's a bit of a joke, they don't think it's going to last, but for me personally, I'm going to be moving up to Scotland to do university. There wouldn't be warnings of how long distance relationships can go wrong without it happening to some people. So far I felt I'd been lucky but I needed to see it from the other side. I met with a girl called Abby who left her hometown of Portsmouth for Winchester still with her boyfriend. Hi. However, like it is for so many, the strain of the distance became too much. I met him the first time at a party and we kind of just like 10 months ago. Okay. <laughs> I'd say. We were in, like, I'd say, love. There was a lot of trust in the relationship when I was back at home, but not as much when I came here. Because obviously I was going out quite a bit, he, I don't think he liked that idea. And he just, I don't know, it was just a lot of factors that added up to him just having really bad weeks. And then he, then took that out on me and so that just kind of, that helped break down the relationship of sorts. I regret how I handled the situation with that. I'm not a massive fan of relationships, I don't think personally I suit a relationship. Overall I don't think like long distance relationships can work. We spend Christmas with our loved ones and as the season approached I reflected on my position. Speaking with Abby and Tom I felt I'd seen both sides of the same coin and somewhere in the middle was me. The months apart had been tough on us, but our brief times together had been cherished. I thought of last Christmas and being upon an ice rink with her. A long distance relationship is much like skating in that you're on thin ice. Long distance relationships may not be for everyone, but I hope it's for me.